it comes to power and machines with actor network theory, um, there's an important concept of the immutable mobile. And this is the uh, passage of, um, or the inscription of our, our cultural behaviors into the objects that we create to perform these social norms for us. Um, an example that Latour actually used was the automatic door closer, that um, there's a social convention that we open and close doors for each other, and we can do that more reliably by building a machine to do that. And so the uh, social code has been transferred into uh, material form in, the, in a machine. Um, that's a very simple example, but there are much broader and more sophisticated examples as well. Um, what it relies on is that production of facts relies on social forces and political uh, contingencies. So tokens then, um, these things that uh, we put into motion, um, travel great distances. They can pass through a lot of uh, actors within a network and yet retain a lot of their original form. They're, they're very durable. Um, money might be considered one example of that. Um, it circulates, people might write on it, it might get torn, it gets fingerprints and dirt on it, but it does maintain much of its original form. Um, and in a more sophisticated way, what actor network theorists explained uh, were things like laboratory equipment um, outlasts experiments, or experiments are actually in some ways designed around the type of equipment that we have to conduct them with. Um, and so this equipment uh, participates in a vast economy that extends way beyond the, the lab and it in invokes um, centuries of tradition and material practice. So when it comes to um, politics, machines are very good political allies. Their immutability makes them really good at keeping other allies in place. They become part of the political ordering of the world and their inertia, that, that is there's, there's a lack of opposition to them, makes the dominating actor look stable. And so we can think about a military apparatus here that um, the intercontinental ballistic missile system exists and doesn't change, even though the actors in the network do change. Um, it stabilizes a set of relationships that are needed to both control and maintain um, that, that particular armament. So it makes it a very stable ally in that sense. And authority figures that are people, in fact, we can think about uh, anybody in a position of authority, they work as part of the administrative machinery. Um, they resist individuation in the practice of translation. So they come to occupy a role within the apparatus. And in doing that, they resist becoming somehow uh, unique. Um, they administrate the translation of any script from one repertoire to a more durable one. And their role is, is very similar to any other machine in that sense, that the, the prescribed role for them is to hold the position, to hold the network stable, not to actually um, allow rearrangement. So machines then become lieutenants and technology re reliably replaces the unreliable human activity. Um, people get sick, people change their minds, they make bad decisions, sometimes sometimes good ones, and uh, they become very unreliable. So machines are prone to just do what they're told or else to break down. Um, but their programs include cultural values along with their instructions. And machines perform back to us that which we encode them with. So similarly to the uh, automatic door closer, um, any machine we look at in some way performs back to us uh, the, the social convention that we've programmed into it. And this is why uh, Philip Vanini um, explained that we need to pay as much attention to techne as ethos, yeah, uh, ethnos, sorry. Philip Vanini said that we need to pay as much attention to techne as ethnos. 
That means the techniques of use as the cultural performativity. Um, this is to examine the ontological implications and the effects rather than causality. So instead of worrying about what causes this to happen, think about what this is actually resulting in. So translation is local, but there are general strategies for translation that uh, reproduce in ranges of networks. And John Law explained that sociologies that do not take machines and architectures as seriously as they do, uh, people will never solve the problem of reproduction. And critical geography in particular, a field that uh, had a figure such as um, David Harvey, Lefebvre, Soja, Doreen Massey, um, explored exactly this issue, uh, that we are embedding these political arrangements within the material environment that we build. And so agency then becomes the result of translating for a hybrid collective, which is an array of relations um, and links and inter interpenetrations and processes. The collective includes all that inspires, influences, and touches it. And all of the actants within this network are equal, performing their inscribed roles. So actors then have distributions or definitions thrust upon them. This is the distinction here between actor and actant. That actors have to contend with this definition. And so the allocation of agency by the collective impels the actant in that position to become an actor rather than just the kind of more uh, passive um, piece of the apparatus. Bruno Latour explained that actor network theory is unshamedly reductionist and relativist, saying there is nothing but networks with no space in between them. Um, and adding ontology or the actor into this matrix then modifies the mathematical construct of the network. So spatializations, things like close and far, up and down, um, get replaced by associations and connections. And sketching the properties of actor networks moves from static to topological properties to dynamic and ontological ones. So instead of just mapping terrain, we're actually looking at the, the, um, the, the moments of crises and the moments of change. John Law explained that actor network theory then is always in tension between agency, which is the actor, actor and the structure, which is the network. And in so doing, what he explains is that there's always uh, some kind of struggle between the durability of the, the material and the kind of uh, agency of the actor to use that in their own way.